Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I would do, I guess, kind of a try on haul with my Sephora VIV sale um, purchases. I've actually already filmed this video and when I was editing it, like, it was not good. It was all, the lighting was like orange and I felt like you couldn't even see what I was talking about, so I'm just going to refilm it. So, um, some of these things will be second impressions because I already used them. That video, I was just kind of telling you, like doing a, a haul, and I had the product on. But this time, we'll just apply it as I'm talking about it, I guess. And it's my... okay. <laughs> I didn't know if I was on the right setting. I'm a bit rusty filming makeup videos because I've been filming for my other channel, crafting videos, which are all top down. So yeah, it's a whole thing. Anyway, let's just get into this. Um, so yeah, I did buy a few things. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, I guess not as much as usual during a VIB sale, but I think it's just a lot of small things, except for this one big item, which I'll just talk about first. I did get the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Blooming Romance Palette for Eyes, Brows, Face, and Lips. I was very excited when I saw this because the first one she came out with was just like browns. And I was like, well, I'm not going to use browns, like, for my lips. And I have tons of brown eyeshadow. But this one I felt was, like, different enough. How am I? I need to open this. I felt it was different enough, and I could actually use it on my cheeks. It doesn't say, um, well, it says face. Yeah, so I could use these as blushes, um, as eyeshadow on my lips. It just made more sense to me to get this version. Um, that's the packaging. I really like this packaging. It feels kind of like a faux leather kind of maybe. Um, and you have this like nice metal plaque here that says um, Danessa Myricks Beauty, Groundwork Blooming Romance. And there's a plastic over it. I'm just going to leave that for now because the way I store my makeup it's probably going to get scratched if I remove it. This is what it looks like inside. So it's very pretty. Um, you get a big mirror. And I'll remove this. The mirror is very heavy and thick. And it does go all the way back. So woo <laughs> you can hold it in your hand like this. Which would be good if you're probably like a makeup artist. You could... Um, just hold that easily and then see all your colors. So everything is divided. There's two pans. <clears throat> the bigger pans are, um, what does she call it again? I have to read this again. Um, Velvet Pomade Hybrid Formula. So it's kind of like a cream to matte kind of situation. And then the smaller pan is a like a normal powder, I'm pretty sure, right? Um, the Shape and Fix Powder Formula with Upsolite blends and sets. So I am not a makeup artist. Um, this to me, but I still think I would get use out of this because of the fact that I can use it for everything. And when I did my first look, I did use everything I used, um, I think, yeah, this, this powder here I used in my brows. I used, um, some shades here for eyeshadow. I used some for, I think I used some blush too. And I used this shade for, like, a brightening shade on my eyelids. So there are still, like, some brownish kind of tones, but... I just felt like there's more variety in this version of the palette. So that's why I got that. Um, I think for today, what should I do? I have nothing on my face. I was like really not <laughs> even planning on filming this. I'm actually 
wanting to film my inventory. I know a lot of you are looking forward to that and I really just haven't had time because that video takes me like, I think last time it took me two weeks to like film it and edit and all the things. So I have to <laughs> get on that. But anyway, I was just looking at the bag and like, okay, I have to film that video again. So what am I doing? Um, well, I won't use this now because I don't like doing my eyes first. I, I don't know. I never seem to do it properly. So we'll come back to this later, but I did get this. This was like the really, the big item that I just dropped. <laughs> um, oh, just to get these out of the way too. I always, when there's a Sephora VIB sale, I always get some of these Sephora brand, um, like sheet masks. Um, this one I'm, I'm not sure about. I think I've tried this before. It's like the blackhead remover, the nose strip. Um, I think they just repackage them in different packaging to make you think it's a new product, but it's probably the same thing, but I'm willing to try it again. Plus Sephora collection was 30% off, so it was not expensive at all. Um, I did also get the caffeine eye mask. I think I really like this one. And the depuffing eye mask with cucumber extract. I really like those. I should have put one on. Um, well, right now my eyes are puffy. They're just very red, if you can see here. Um, yeah, maybe I should have done the caffeine one. Oh well. <laughs> and then I really like the Sephora foot masks because they have little tabs on the back, well, on the, the mask. So you could actually like wear them, like you can walk around with them on. Because I hate things that I have to just sit there and wait, you know. So <laughs> I really like this. And this is the lavender extract one. I also really like the mango hand mask, but I didn't get it this time because... Um, I was having my eczema on my hands again and I didn't want to mess around with like fragrance and stuff so but I have tried that one too and I really like it. Um, I guess another sort of big item although it's very small <laughs> it's just the price that I was kind of confused by also the fact that I had no idea this existed this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Balm Serum Boosted Skin Tint and um, this is how I know like ABH is not as, what's the word, popular maybe as it used to be because I didn't even know this existed and this sounds like something I'd be super into based on like the, the naming of it. It says a tinted solid serum that blends skincare and makeup with eight potent ingredients for a radiant smooth complexion. Its silky texture ensures seamless application for a naturally even and glowy finish. So, <clears throat> like I said, I have actually used this before. And I was like, I feel like maybe it's the shade. So I got the shade 5. I feel like I can't even see this on my face, which I guess is part of the idea of this type of product. It's only a skin tint. It's not a foundation. But I, I just didn't think like it did anything. Like it wasn't really that even glowy. Um, I was using a primer though last time and I think it says, it said somewhere, I think on the Sephora app when you look at how to use, it said to put it on bare skin. So today I'm not gonna put any primer on. I'm just gonna go in with this and maybe I'll get a better idea of how it works. But. I will show this to you. I don't know if it's just me that didn't know anything about this. So it looks like a deodorant stick <laughs> and it opens like this. It has a little cover on it. There. And that's the shade that I got, the shade five. And you just like, well, I did both, so it says that you should apply it to your fingers and then put it on 
your skin but because i wasn't like seeing anything happening i did end up just swiping it everywhere so i don't know if it matters but let's do the fingers first so i'm just doing this and it feels it does feel like very silky but i don't know if you can see like <laughs> i don't know if that did anything I don't know, maybe the shade match is just too good. Like, I don't... I don't know. Like, I would still need to go in with a concealer. Like, for, like, my blemish here and here. I mean, if I'm going to go through the trouble of putting on something like this, like, I kind of want it to look like it did something, you know? I don't know. Let's see how it does on my forehead because I usually am very dry right above my eyebrows. And that's usually the test where we can see it's not really picking up on any dry patches though. I just feel like that did nothing, right? I don't know, maybe in editing I'll look back and see a difference, but <laughs> I don't I don't know. Maybe if I put it over this. Yeah, so I guess it kind of covered some of the redness. Um, but it also kind of picked up on the dryness there and like how much of this should I be doing I just feel like I could do this all day and it wouldn't make a difference <laughs> oh and this was $57 like what has ABH always been that expensive I feel like I don't recall that but okay there's the product I don't know I I don't know what that did. I mean, it didn't. Let me look up close. I guess it sort of has a dewy finish. But I don't find, like, I find, I don't know. For it to be called a serum boosted skin tint, and it's saying that it has a naturally even and glowy finish. I don't know about that. Maybe my skin is just like too dry for something like this. We'll see. But this is the second time I'm wearing it. And the last time I wore it, I didn't notice anything bad. Like as I wore it throughout the day, it didn't like crease or do anything weird or like settle into my pores. So I don't think it's a bad product. I just don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> but yeah, that's that. So I'm still going to have to go in with concealer. So this is the concealer in my... I don't even rem remember <laughs> what, why. Is this in a project? Is it in my shop, my stash? I have not been... Um, doing my tracking very well at all um yeah that's all I have to say about that anyway this is the makeup forever matte velvet skin um you guys might know already since this keeps getting pulled into projects and things like that and I do like it as a spot concealer but I hate the packaging and I don't like it under my eyes. So I'm just trying to use it up. It looks pretty well used, but I think it's because of the packaging. It's just, it pushes all the product up to the top. So that's, that's great. <laughs> anyway, let me just blend that out. This is the Sephora Pro Airbrush Detail number 57. I've had this brush for a long time. I think I bought it originally because of Jessica Braun. 
Um, she uses it to, well, she used to, I mean, I'm talking like three years ago. <laughs> she was blending her concealer out around her eyes with this. Um, but I don't know if I like blending under eye concealer with a brush on me. So I started using it for blending my spot concealer and look, see how fast that was? It's really good. I like it a lot. So I think that's that for the concealer. <clears throat> um, for my under eyes, I didn't buy, did I buy a new concealer? No, I didn't. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do, what am I gonna do? I was gonna do just my tinted eye treatment from Tatcha that I always do, but maybe I'll do like actual makeup because I'm looking at my shop my stash no no I don't want to <laughs> I was gonna do oh god I have all these drawers open I was gonna do the Tarte concealer that I have in my shop my stash right here I think it's the hydro sealer but I don't really want to I will just go in with, sorry, I'm moving the table as I'm talking, probably not good. This Tatcha, the pearl, which I mention probably in every video. <laughs> Look how, this feels like the never ending product. Yeah. And um, I don't know, like I haven't filmed many videos lately, especially ones where I'm talking. So I probably haven't, <clears throat> mention this much but I am going back to the office now not that I want to but it's you know company policy um I've been working from home since uh 2020 <laughs> so yeah we started going back twice a week and yeah it's not fun um but that means I'm wearing makeup um, at least twice a week now and I don't know that part of it is not too bad like I I have to get ready in the morning and I wake up at 5 15 so <laughs> in order to not look like a total zombie I actually do my makeup I didn't used to wear makeup to work so that's new but yeah all that to say I'm actually using my makeup more because of that which isn't bad but yeah, actually going to the office, I'd rather not, to be honest, but <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so that's my tinted eye treatment. It doesn't really do much at all, um, but I, I more use it for the skincare aspect of it, which I'm not even sure. I don't even remember what the claims are on that, but I'm just trying to use it. And I need a sip of my energy drink. <laughs> Okay, um, okay, did that even out my skin tone? Maybe. It does look kind of nice in the mirror, um, but yeah, anyway. Let's go back to the actual new stuff. Um, oh, this. I got the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Melting Bronzing and Sculpting Stick. Um, this really intrigued me. Is the shade Chocolate Mousse? Or Chocolate Soleil? No, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got the shade Chocolate Mousse, which I think is the lightest shade. I think there's only four shades, but I don't find this to be light at all. I find lately um, bronzers are getting very, like, the shade ranges are bigger which is great but the light ones are like very light like yeah so when I saw this was the lightest shade I was like oh okay it looks pretty dark but it does blend out really nicely I am going to use a brush I always use my LYS sculpt slash bronzing brush for cream bronzers 
Um, I did already like break this. If you can, why won't that focus anymore? I did something to this camera, I think. Anyway, if you can see, it's cracked. It's very emollient. So I'm gonna be very gentle and just like, see how like dark that looks? But it's going to blend out pretty good from what I remember. Yeah, so it's not, um, it's very easy to use actually. I do think I still prefer, see I'm even putting more on now because it blended out so easily. Um, but yeah, I still prefer my Rare Beauty bronzing stick. I think that's my favorite one out of the ones that I've tried. But I do like this one. And it smells like a Tootsie Roll to me. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to smell like, but that's what it smells like to me. And I'll just put some more here, I guess. I'm still being very gentle because it's so um, emollient. I don't know another word for that. Yeah, so there's that. And this, by the way, it just twists up. And is this, no, it's not magnetized, but it is a nice, like it feels nice in your hand and like it's good quality. So I'm liking that so far. I just, yeah, still prefer the Rear Beauty one. Natural looking, second skin, warmth and dimension that smells as good as it looks. Use a dense brush or fingers to sweep along outer edges of face, forehead, cheekbones and nose, then effortlessly effortlessly blend for a magic sun kiss look. Yeah, I do agree. It is an effortless blend. So I did get that. Um, and then the blushes. I went a little crazy on blush. How many? Okay, there's four blushes. <laughs> yes, okay. I got four blushes. So, okay, I... The one I used in the last video, what was it? I think I used, um, okay, let me just tell you what I got. So the LYS Higher Standard Cream Glow Blush Stick. I got this. Um, this one I'm very excited about. I didn't use it yet because I want to do a full face of LYS video. And one of you did um, comment that you did want to see that. So that will be coming soon. I got the shade Focused, which is described as a warm cinnamon pink. And the reason I got this, not that I need more cream blush. How do I open this again? Um, it's because it looked like a nice glowy product that I could use maybe as like a bronzer type thing. Ugh, I'm ruining the box. It's a very pretty packaging, like all the LYS products. It's like, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is going. It's a triangle shape. It's like a nice color and it looks like this. It looks very pretty. I think, did I swatch this? I don't even think I swatched this. Maybe I did. Yes, maybe. So it has a very pretty glow. So I'm really excited to use this. Um, it is a twist up so you can twist it up and down. And I think I'm really going to like this actually. See what I mean by like a bronzer? Well at least on my skin tone. I, I would put this like all here. It would be a nice like summer look maybe. So I'm going to keep that. <clears throat> aside for the LYS video. Then a brand that's new to me, 
I guess it's new at Sephora also, is Basma. Um, I got the cream blush, that's what it's called, the cream blush in the shade Peach. And this one, I don't know why I got this. I think I just was intrigued because it's a new brand. The, pack, the packaging looked fun. It actually slides open like so. And I just liked how the color looked. I did swatch this one and this feels almost like a lip product. Like it's very balmy. So I really like the color. Um, because it's not like a too neutral peach. I think it will give me some color, hopefully. Because in the past, when I've tried um, cream blushes in peach shades, I don't see them on my face. I think because my undertone is very strongly peach already. So they just like blend into my skin. But this one looks like it has a nice color to it. So, and it's very like... Um glossy almost so I don't know if people with oily skin how you'll feel about a very balmy cream blush but I think I might like this one a lot but I have not used this one yet because I used another one oh I need a makeup wipe I used this one in the video the give in the video that never <laughs> went up by the way the Give Dewy Plump Collagen Cheek Tint. This was very exciting to me. I have really been liking Give Beauty's new releases. I haven't used a lot of them yet. It's another video I wanted to film. But she's making some like very exciting things I feel. And some like um, innovative stuff. I feel like when her brand first launched, this is Give like GXVE by Gwen Stefani, by the way, if you didn't know. I feel like, um, yeah, when her brand first launched, it was kind of boring and very basic, but it's now looking back, I realize it's because they were starting with like the basic things like her red lip and her winged eyeliner and her like neutral eyeshadow. And now they're like, okay, this is working. Let's do some fun things. That's how I feel like <laughs> it's going. I don't know. I don't have any inside knowledge of the company. But this is, um, as the name says, a cheek tint. And I did use this already. It's one of these, like on an um, applicator. And this is like almost like a gel kind of texture and it reminds me of the Maybelline Cheek Heat. Is that what it's called? Um, yeah, the same kind of texture and the fact that it feels almost like hydrating on your face, like wet. Not that it's gonna like slip off or anything. I don't know if you know, if you've tried that, if you know what I'm talking about. But I will use this again today and the first time I used it I went in like very carefully because I was like if this is anything like a rare beauty cream blush like putting this much product on is going to be a disaster but you'll see um yeah so I'm going to put kind of a lot well I just put what came off on the tube but you'll see it kind of blends very easily let's try my Sephora 47 um, the pro, it's actually a foundation brush, but I bought it for cream blush application. Let's try it with this one, because I feel like it blended, like, almost to nothing <laughs> last time I used it, and I want to see if a more dense brush, like, makes a difference. I think it does, because that, <laughs> okay, that was maybe, that was a lot. But see how it's like, if you had put that much of the Rare Beauty blush on, like, your whole face would be this color. And you would have to, like, put powder over it to calm it down. But. So, did I even say what's the shade? No. The shade is Bouquet. 
It says plump, smooth, hydrate, packed with hyaluronic acid and collagen boosters. And it doesn't feel like um, balmy or anything, like the Basma felt. It just kind of like is seamless with your skin. So I am liking this so far. I have to wear it some more to see the longevity because I don't remember based on the first time I used it. But I like this color. Yeah, it blends easily. It feels nice on the skin. So, so far I'm liking that. But what I did the first time I used these products, I also got the Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush from Rare Beauty um, in the shade Happy. And these are like a hybrid, like a blush highlighter hybrid. And some people really don't like them because they're too glowy. But I don't mind that actually. So I've kind of used this as a blush topper so far. So I put a cream blush on and then I'll put this on top. I really like this packaging by the way. It's like a plastic but it has that soft matte kind of feel. That's the shade Happy. And <clears throat> I'm going to put some of this on but not with the same brush. I'm going to try it with my Tarte. This doesn't have a name. Remember these brushes <laughs> with the star? Because I kind of want to use it, like I said, like a blush topper. So I would apply it more like on the top here where I would put highlighter. And I don't want to apply too much. It's quite like powdery, if you can see. Like there's kind of, like you could see the kick up in the pan. So I don't want to go crazy. Let's see if we can see anything. Because I think the first time I I use like my normal blush brush. But I don't want to just cover the first blush I put down. Because then I would just only use one product. You know what I mean? I think that's doing something. So yeah. If you don't like glowy powders. Um... If you don't like putting glowy powder specifically, like where you might have texture or fine lines, I don't think you'll like this product, but I don't mind. <laughs> I like highlighter. I think I've mentioned this before. I feel like I'm one of the people that still like, like the 2015 or 2018, I don't even know anymore. That kind of highlighter where it was like, um, you didn't mind if you had a, a big glowy cheek. I still like that look, so. I'm just going in very lightly with that. I'm not even sure if that did much, but yeah, that's the Soft Pinch, what was it called? Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush. An airy, silky powder blush that brings instant life to your cheeks with a fresh, radiant flush that lasts. So yeah, I will probably need to try it on its own once just to see how it is because so far this is the second time I'm using it and I applied it over the same blush both times. So yeah, but I do see it has like a subtle glow the way that I applied it. So if you don't like too much highlighter but you still want to glow, you might just like one product like this. So that was all the blushes <laughs> that I got. And then I got two lip products. So I got the another product from Give Beauty, the Dewy Plump Collagen Lip Gel. So this came out the same time as the blush and I keep getting them mixed up actually. <laughs> so let me show you this. I got the shade in this Marigolds and this says the same thing as the blush did. It says plump, smooth, hydrate, packed with hyaluronic acid and collagen boosters. This one said, yeah, collagen boosters. So that's what that looks like. 
Dewy Plump Collagen Lip Gel. Did I use this? Actually, I don't think I used this one yet because I used the other one. It smells very good. It smells like, um, like caramel, like some kind of dessert, maybe cake. Um, yeah, but I got this shade because it looked a bit different from other lip products that I already own. And then the other product I got, this is the one I already used, the Pillow Talk Big Limp, God, these names, <laughs> Big Lip Plump, Big Lip Plump Gasm, oh my God, Super Size and Maximize. So this one got me mainly for the packaging because it looks like this. It looks very fun. It has a mouth holding a lip stick, a lipstick in it. So that's fun. Um, yeah. So this one, okay. This is a lip plumper, meaning it has that, that lip plumping ingredient. You can smell it in the, in the product if you know that smell. And it, the first time I used it, it was like stinging a lot, like throbbing. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. But it didn't last super long, the, the stingingness. And I don't, I'm not one of those people that hates lip products that have that in them. I actually like trying different ones. I mainly just like to see if it does anything because I think that's kind of fun. But what I really want from a lip plumper is that it fills in like your lip lines, not necessarily like makes your lips look bigger because they're burning and in pain. <laughs> but you know, the formula that just has like a very smooth finish, that's what I want. So I wanted to try this one. Um, this is the shade Pillow Talk Fair Medium. I think there's only two of these if I remember correctly. So the other one I guess is, I don't know, medium deep. Um, I guess I'll try this on again <laughs> just to see, well, to show you because I didn't put out that first video and you do, you get a lot of product on this applicator though. So maybe I'll just put a bit of that back in the tube. It is a nice color. And I do like, aside from the fact that it picks up a lot of product, I do like the applicator on the lips. Like it's very soft and um, like uh, flexible <laughs> is the word. Yeah. It's really pretty and it's not sticky. It's burning already. So yeah, don't get this if you don't like lip plumpers. Um, I know it can get confusing because a lot of companies are coming out with lip plumpers but they're not actually the ones that sting. They're just, I don't know, they just like to use that word. So, but this one is actual lip plumper. So we'll see how it goes. I feel like I have a red spot right there. But it's not blush, it's just my face. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so let's go in with the Danessa Myricks palette for the rest of my face. Um, I didn't love the look that I did either the first time I used it. It was very like, almost like pink in the sense that it made my eyes look red and like sick. So that wasn't fun. But let's try maybe some different colors today. I need my eyeshadow brushes. Maybe I'll go for a more like neutral look today because I already have like pink on the cheeks. So let's start with the shade Desire. This one here, it's like a peachy, peachy brown maybe. And I'm gonna use the powder first, so the skinnier pen. And these are all removable, by the way. They're, there's a little um, like nat notch, is that the word? 
um, that you can take them out if you wanted to. I'll just leave them in the pan and there is quite a lot of cake up if you can see that. Which doesn't bother me but just mentioning. I don't think I've used this shade before. Doesn't look like it. But I like it already. I like warm tones on me. Well, I like cool and warm tones in general, but I don't know. I think I'll have to admit that cool tones don't are not always very flattering on my skin tone. At least not like grays and purples. Okay, but I really like that shade. Like this is a shade if I was using this like on the daily, I would probably always go in to that shade first because it's just that nice like neutral crease shade that I like. Uh, maybe I will just kind of deepen it up a little. Do I want to go brown? I guess I'll do the shade Evermore. Wait, let me swatch it. I'm swatching this shade because I'm not sure if it's brown or purple. Oh, it's very pigmented. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that's a brown. I don't want it to be too dark though, so I'm just going to use my little skinny brush and dip very lightly into there. Yeah, the powders are very... They pick up a lot of um, product, but that's fine with me. As long as they don't like fall all over your face. I'm just using that on the outer corner a little. Yeah, because the first time I used this, I was like, okay, let me try all the pink shades at once. And that's not something I would do normally, so... <laughs> I'm glad I did it so that I knew, like, maybe not the best idea. And this is another way I can use the palette in a more, like, everyday kind of use. This lip product is burning. <laughs> okay. And on my lid... Maybe I'll go back to the Desire, but use the, what do they call it, the pomade? The Velvet Pomade. Shapes, fills, and defines with a fallout-free application. Maybe you're not meant to put that on your eyelid. But I feel like I just want to try that. I'm going to use my finger because I don't know last time I used like a very dense brush so I just picked it up on I picked up that shade on this finger and I think I'll just tap it on I do like this shade. It's very, it's like a warm peach. So that's how that looks. And I think I want to, hmm, I'm just going to put some um, of the brown back here, just on the outer corner the shade Evermore. Like that. And just going back in to blend that out a little. Yeah, so obviously this is an all matte palette. If you wanted to do like an inner corner highlight you would need a different product. Um, 
You could use this shade. I That is what I did the first time, but I don't want to use that with this color that I used today. So I'll probably just use a highlighter from my Shot My Stash. But yeah, there's just an, like a really easy, very fast way you can use this palette. Um, I did use, I think it was this shade, Adorn, on my lips the first time. And that looked really fun. Just with my finger, I patted on the color and it lasted. It looked nice. So you can use these on your lips as well. Um, but for today, since I already put the Charlotte Tilbury on, I'm just going to gonna use this for my brow powder and um, I'm gonna go in yeah it's the same shade that I used on my eyes this one because this one I think it's gonna be too dark for me and this one is too like purpley so that's probably the only powder I would use for my brows in this palette I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just drawing a line and it looks crazy at first. <laughs> and then I just flick it upwards. And I'm probably gonna need to use the spoolie on the back of this, well on the other end to blend it out. Yeah, because it's very strong, very pigmented, I mean. So there's one that made a big difference, I feel. This is kind of like leaning warm on me for a brow product, but I don't, I don't mind. So I'm just going to do the same on this side. So I actually haven't been using brow powders in my routine lately because in my shop my stash I have my Kosas um, products so it's a pencil a like pomade in a tube and a clear brow gel so I'll probably go in with just the clear brow gel for the top um yeah but I'm not going to use anything else in this palette today because I already have blush on although you could use um these as blushes too which is fun i need to try that but yeah so far liking this yeah it's fun so i'm glad that i picked that up especially at a discount because <laughs> it's kind of pricey so i'm just putting my kosas air brow whatever it's called yeah air brow in clear because I can't just leave my brows like just with powder on and I did not pick up any mascara because I already have enough I'm just trying to use up this one right now the tartlet tubing mascara and I like this one I like the applicator. This is my favorite kind of applicator where it's like a triangle shape. I just feel like it's easy to use. And for me, I like my eyelashes to be longer than like more voluminous. So I, I use the tip to like wing them out on the edge. I think I will not put any on my lower lash line. Sometimes when I put eyeshadow on my lower lash line and not mascara, I feel like it looks weird. But today I don't mind it because that, um, that eyeshadow is not like too striking or anything. So it looks fine. So is that everything? Yeah, that was everything that I got during the last VIB sale. Um, I actually did place another order <laughs> because, okay, I really wanted to get during the sale the Huda Beauty um, lip plumper. I don't know what the name of it is. Um, 
and it was out of stock and I feel like a lot of things I actually wanted were out of stock and now of course after the sale ends everything's back in stock so I feel like part of it is because they do that on purpose but anyway that's a conspiracy theory <laughs> that I have but yeah so I had to get that product and there was also like a really good offer at the time where you could get a Gucci primer and a lipstick well obviously just like a sample but they look like nice size um so I just was like okay let me just get it and get the free stuff and <laughs> yeah so I did that oh also I had enough points to get ten dollars off my order so it wasn't that bad anyway let me take off this ridiculous headband and we'll see so that is a very basic <laughs> finished look. Um, just to show you what I purchased during the VIB sale, give some second impressions. Um, I think I like everything so far. But yeah, like I said, the Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush, I need to try that on its own to see what it does by itself. Um, this Beauty Balm, I kind of am liking it this time. Maybe, yeah, you really should not use a primer with this. It's like best on its own. I feel like it even blurred my pores a little. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Um, yeah, and then there's some things like I still need to try. The Basma Cream Blush, the Give um, Dewy Lip Plump. I'm very excited to try this and yeah. That's everything. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.